Now let's get to the feed to, field to get an um, update on what exactly is going on around Lagos precisely. We're having Director of Programs, Yaga Africa, Cynthia Mbamadu, who is joining me to bring us up to speed. Uh, bring us up to the minute information, what you've been able to observe so far as regards today's local government and local council elections in Lagos State. Um, thank you and good morning. I'm currently in Wasimi Ward, um, of Ebi Allen in um, Ikeja. And we just came through for money for our share and um, ward also. And um, what we've seen so far is largely late commencement of vote. Um, currently, we're still waiting. If you can see behind me, they finished set up. However, the voters are yet to come in. So one major trend beyond late commencement um, in most of the polling units, as at 9, 9, 30 was when arrival um, set up was going on. There's also the worry about turnout uh, because um, we still are yet to see voters coming out to participate in the process. There are two polling units where I am currently um, in the um, Bola Memorial Primary School. If you see there's one behind me, um, without, they've not commenced, they are waiting for voters, but party agents are here, the, the um, officials are here. There's another one, I don't know if I can turn also, you see the, there's another one right in front of me, they are yet to commence. And so that's what we've seen so far. Um, across um, our observers are also in the different local government areas, and most of the reports we got was also the late um, arrival of materials, um, especially deployment from the LGA offices to, um, to the different polling units. Um, however, we still have observers on ground waiting to see if the voters, because the voters in some locations are just trickling in uh, to see if the voters would come up or turn out um, to vote. Um, currently, we're still um, just waiting. Everything is peaceful from where we've gone to and where we've been. We only got um, one report. I think it was from um, Shomolu where there was a, an issue with one of the parties who um, had mentioned that their um, name was missing or their party was missing uh, from the ballot, which is, um, which is the only issue we've seen so far. Aside that, um, it's been relatively peaceful and calm in the different polling units that we've gone to. How would you describe the security officials, the security personnel who are on ground um, to monitor this uh, election? How are they ensuring that there is orderliness? Are they, were they there in some of the places you've been to? Talking about the security personnel. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they've been there and they were quite um, very helpful. So for the different um, polling units we've gone to, right. the officials were cordial, um, providing us with information. We asked them questions. They responded to the questions. And we also, um, across board, our observers also sent in report that the officials so far have been cordial and um, very um, receptive um, at, at this level. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is just a commencement of polls. So there's no tension, I would say. Everywhere is still relatively calm and peaceful. And we hope the mode continues till the point of collision, because uh, we'll be observing the collision also at the LGA collision centers. I try to speak with some of the electorates um, regarding why they are not, or why they came out late, or why some of them are not really coming out. Is that uh, can that be attributed to voter apathy? Um, yeah. So one is um, apathy. The other, I think, is also the issue around communication, because apathy is almost disinterest and not being. Uh, aware of your civic duties, but for some, so throughout the past two to three days, we've been going around the street interacting with voters at different levels, and some of them have just said they did not even know about the elections until they saw an order for um, uh, restriction on movement. That was then some of them even knew about, so for some were informing them, did you know there would be an LG election? I think there was really poor voter education of voter information on different platforms. And we could see that through the way the parties engage. So for instance, after the primaries, most of the parties were not even engaging in robust campaigns, uh, because those are the things that create awareness among the people. So we did not see that level of issue-based campaigns across the LGAs. So a lot of people did not even know that there was going to be local government elections, aside from some locations where there were posters. And then also last week also, we feel that they would have been a lot more um, work done in sensitizing the people about um, the process. So there's water out there's also the fact that people could not just know about it. And right. there were some we met yesterday who had said, oh, there is election tomorrow, I would go and vote then. And some of those, we had those who committed to vote just because they found out yesterday 
that they had elections today. Well, that really makes sense. Thank you so much for the update. We'll keep, uh, keep close tab, uh, tabs with you as soon as we are able to. Thank you so much. Keep your eyes on the ground. We'll definitely uh, continue to talk to you. Director of Programs, right, Yaga Africa, uh, Cynthia Mbamudu. Thank you so much for our insight. Thank you.